Now, working in alternative media, you soon realise that unless you're going to toe the progressive line, you're going to be censored. I've had it. Bigger channels than me have had it. You know, Sticks, I believe, has had it. Diamond and Silk have talked about it in the past. Infowars is having it. We're all copying the censorship. Um, but this is actually kind of a big step because Facebook now have allegedly deemed pro-Trump Diamond and Silk unsafe to the community. Just let that sink in. Two black pro-Trump supporters are unsafe for the community. Wonder why they're unsafe. It's interesting, isn't it? Facebook has reportedly limited a page of pro-Trump YouTube sensations Diamond and Silk. Uh, mind you, these are the same Diamond and Silk that are on Fox News sometimes. It's not like they're, you know, way out there going on about Jewish conspiracies or anything. So, you know, they're pretty mainstream. But anyway. In a post on their Facebook page, Diamond and Silk, an internet commentating duo that have become popular during the 2016 election for their vocal support of President Trump, stated that after much deliberation, Facebook has deemed their content and videos unsafe for the community. The post of the duo's page reads, quote, Diamond and Silk have been corresponding since September 7th, 2017. So, you know, all about six months. With Facebook-owned Mark Zuckerberg about their bias, censorship and discrimination against DNS brand page. Finally, after several emails, chats, phone calls, appeals, beating around the bush, lies and giving us the runaround, Facebook gave us another bogus reason why millions of people who like and or follow our page no longer receive notifications and why our page posts and videos reach was reduced by a large scale percentage. Here's the reply from Facebook, Thursday, August 5th, 2018 at 3.40 p.m. Quote, the policy team has came to the conclusion that your content and your brand has been determined unsafe to the community. Quote, yep, it was a Facebook conclusion after six months, 29 days, 5 hours and 40 minutes and 43 seconds. Oh, uh, guess what else Facebook said? Quote, this decision is final and you're not able to appeal it in any way. No, this is the exact wording that Facebook emailed to us. Now, Diamond and Silk then posed multiple questions to Facebook and specifically the company's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. The questions are as follows. One, what is unsafe about two black women supporting the President Donald J. Trump? Two, our Facebook page has been created since December 2014. When exactly did the content and the brand become unsafe to the community? Probably since you start getting any decent traction. Three, when you say community, are you referring to the millions who like and follow our page? Four, what content on our page was in violation? Five, if our content and brand was so unsafe to the community, why is the option for us to boost our content and spend money with Facebook to enhance our brand page still available? Maybe Facebook should give us a refund since Facebook censored our reach. It's a good question, actually. Six, lastly, didn't Facebook violate their own policy when Facebook stopped sending notifications to the millions of people who like and follow our brand's page? Breitbart News has reached out to Facebook for comment on their issue, but has yet to receive a reply at the writing of this article. This isn't the first time that Diamond and Silk have faced internet censorship. The YouTube stars had their videos demonetized from YouTube's platform in August of 2017. The duo claimed that YouTube had stopped over 95% of our videos from being monetized, stating it's not suitable for all advertisers. Uh, in fairness to them, everybody had that. Even me. I had about 90%, I think it was. 85 90%. The internet commentators imply they may take legal action against YouTube at the time, saying in a tweet, quote, We smell a class action lawsuit. This sugar honey iced tea have got to stop YouTube, Google, 
this does not look good. Uh, the two received support at the time for the former governor, Sarah Palin. Fox News commentator Sean Hannity also appeared to voice his support for Diamond and Silk in a tweet. Now, at the end of the day, that's the first part of the story. Much like the other story, it is going to be a two-parter. And exclusive Diamond Silk call on Trump to probe social media giants. This is actually really, really good news. Um, look, at the end of the day, I hate the fact that the government is getting involved especially when it comes to private organizations and companies. But let's face it, there really is a monopoly when it comes to YouTube. Uh, Facebook, there's sort of a major player. Um, obviously, we've got mines coming up through the ranks, but they still are the major, major player when it comes to social media for Facebook-like pages. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some government intervention in this wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section. But let's jump into the article. New York. The YouTube sensations known as Diamond and Silk, former Democrats who left the party to support President Donald Trump, called on the Trump administration to probe social media giants over the allegations of singling out certain political viewpoints. <laughs> Conservatives... <laughs> or <laughs> pro-Trump. The outspoken pro-Trump duo made the call two days after they took to their Facebook page on Friday to say they were informed by Facebook that the internet giant deemed their content and videos to be unsafe to the community. Diamond and Silk alleged the reach on their Facebook has been minimized and a large number of their followers on the platform no longer receive notifications of new posts. I'm actually following Diamond and Silk on Facebook and I do not receive any notifications, so I can actually verify that. Facebook did not immediately return a Breitbart News request for comment on the issue. Like other internet giants, Facebook is a private company and users are subject to the platform's content policies. Diamond and Silk, however, allege that they are being singled out due to their pro-Trump views. And yeah, I'll be very, very surprised if that was not the case, actually, to be completely honest. They addressed the issue Sunday in an interview on this reporter's talk radio program, Aaron Kling Investigative Radio. Oh, okay, they're on the Aaron Kling show, cool. Broadcast on New York's AM 970, the answer to the news talk 990 AM in Philadelphia. With Silk chiming in approvingly, Diamond suggested the government investigation of social media giants. I don't believe in big government, but I do believe that maybe our government should look at the social media platforms, Diamond said. Because let me tell you something, they dominate about 90% of the world now. Think about that. I'm talking about the world, not just United States. I'm talking about the world, so that means they can silence your voice and will only be one point of view that is dangerous. And I completely agree. This is why I'm pro-free speech. Any idea should be able to be discussed. Bad ideas fester in darkness. If someone has a bad idea, shine it out in the daylight and it bursts up into flames. Quote, I call that dictatorship. So I believe that maybe the government should start looking at these here entities and maybe I don't think regulate them but I uh, see if they're violating someone's freedom of speech now, you're in trouble. Diamond noted that a lot of people say that Facebook is a private company and that they can do whatever they want to. But it is open to the public and everybody is supposed to be treated the same. Now, I don't know. Would a discrimination lawsuit, could you make that case? I don't know. That would be interesting. I'd... You could claim that, you know, it's discriminating against you because of your views. I, I think people have tried and failed, but yeah, it only takes one, I suppose. On Friday, Damon and Silk posted on their Facebook page that the social media platform labelled their content unsafe to the community, which is what we talked about last time. And they're just going to repeat the same thing that we've already said in an earlier article. Speaking on the reporter's show, Diamond said Facebook did not provide her and Silk with any specific examples of purportedly unsafe content. Diamond stated, quote, They told us nothing about what was unsafe about our content, and I want you to realize something, Aaron. 
when they're talking about our brand, they're not talking about a cup or a shirt. They are talking about diamond and silk, which happens to be human beings. Two black women were not animals, were not thugs. When you're talking about two people here, when you say diamond and silk, we are the brand. So when you say things like, you're not safe for the community, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to demonetize us into something? Are you stereotyping us? What are you trying to do here? Because that doesn't feel right. This here feels like racism. The left always cries racism. I see racism right here. I wouldn't see it as racism per se. Look, don't get me wrong. I love I love Diamond and Silk. I love their videos. They, they do a lot of great work. But anybody that has a pro-Trump stance generally on their videos will be demonetized or be censored on Facebook or whatever it may be. So I don't think it's racism per se because me as a white guy would actually be subject to the same. Um, racism is about race. Politicalism? Maybe we should make a new term. I don't know. But yeah, obviously it's discriminating against a political view, but it's not about race. This is not the first time Diamond and Silk say they have faced questionable practices by internet giants. Last August they accused YouTube of demonetizing some of their videos due to the content. And as I said before in the other article, look, to be honest, everybody faced that. Everybody that was pro-Trump or that makes pro-Trump videos actually got that. Like me. I made a video yesterday literally calling Trump out for for this Syria attack, uh, chemical attack. Saying, you know, what are you doing sort of thing. That would not be considered a pro-Trump video. But at the end of the day, I would still be considered pro-Trump. So, yeah. YouTube responded by providing instructions on how to appeal new controls and guidelines regarding advertising. Okay, so at the end of the day, what's the takeaway from all this? Look, obviously at the end of the day, do I believe that Diamond and Silk are being censored? Yes, definitely. I think that Facebook, YouTube, Twitter even, will is censoring not only them, but a lot of people that are on the mega camp or that would be considered pro-Trump or anti-globalists or anything along those lines. I know, for example, I've been censored. I, I, you can tell with the st statistics. Um... That's why it's so hard for a, a small-time YouTuber to grow. That's why the biggest problem I had was with them going through and demonetizing the small YouTubers. Because at the end of the day, to me, small YouTubers that get demonetized, YouTube isn't going to try and push that video as much. Um, but yeah, I do believe they are facing a censorship of sort. I believe everybody that makes anti-globalists or, or anti-progressive videos actually gets the same treatment. Anybody that's considered, quote, risky. Um, but then that said, I also think that if you're on the far, far, far left, like, for example, the vegan or vegetarian that shot up YouTube headquarters, yeah, I believe she was also censored as well. I really do. Um, I, I don't think... Yeah, they probably have a problem with the Trump supporters, but I think it's more about them worrying about their advertising I don't know. Uh, let me go, let me out. You think in the comment section below, guys? Do you think that the diamond and silk are being censored? Do you think that they're not being censored? Do you think that that uh, that is this Facebook or do you think it's Twitter and YouTube? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also, let me know if do you think that Trump will actually do something about this? Uh, there is that uh, internet freedom bill. Um, I might actually do a story on that tomorrow, maybe, if I get a chance. I can't do it tonight. I've got way too much work already. Um, but guys, yeah, there is a internet bill. I'll put a link to that in the description where you can actually go through and actually ask them to keep the internet open for freedom of speech. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new, channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.